Have you ever wished to communicate with God and get all the answers you're seeking? There have long been whispers about a special frequency that could make this possible. But is there actually a frequency like that? What if I told you that Nikola Tesla deciphered the code that allows one to speak with the Spirit of God, and it's not what you think? Tesla believed that understanding certain frequencies would allow one to discover the secrets of the universe. In his own words, if you want to find the answers of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. From prehistoric societies to modern science, there exists a hidden frequency thought to access the innermost core of heavenly energy. Come explore the fascinating and revolutionary world of Tesla's thoughts, where the boundaries between spirituality and science often blur. The intricacies of the threes, sixes and nines await us as we delve into this hidden wisdom. Prepare to observe the world from a completely different perspective. Imagine a world where everyone understood the importance of numbers 3, 6 and 9. These numbers are not merely random, they conceal a mystery that even the greatest intellectuals like Vitruvius, Tesla, Pythagoras, Aristotle and Plato understood. It is not by accident that you're here. You are a part of a divine mathematical matrix that comes to life. Something truly amazing. This matrix is actively reshaping, awaking and connecting you to the present. Without it, you wouldn't be here right now. So, what is a matrix? Forget the Hollywood drama in which Keanu Reeves dodges gunfire. A matrix is basically just a grid of numbers, symbols or mathematical expressions. It sounds like something from a math class, but that's not even close to the extent of its importance. Matrices aren't simply for equations. They appear in our daily lives in unexpected places. Even the Bible contains clues about it. You may have heard everything that opens the matrix. Let's go back in time to the 1400s and investigate the question, why did Leonardo da Vinci write in reverse? It was part of a bigger understanding, rather than merely a strange habit. The Mona Lisa and other works of incredible art undeniably come to mind when you hear the name Da Vinci. But he's more than just a painter. In reality, Da Vinci was delving into a much larger project. He was investigating the connections between music, math and the universe. Do you know what happened when he drew up the separation of religious and political forces in the late 1400s? That drawing is as accurate today as it was back then. Da Vinci drew out this cosmic illusion long before our time, so it's not some contemporary theory. When it comes to frequencies, have you ever heard of A440 Hz? For everything from rap to rock to classical music, this is the standard tune. It's a frequency that maintains the harmony of our universe, as Da Vinci referred to in his magnificent illusion. However, bioenergy and biophysics enthusiasts may already be aware that A440 messes with our natural frequencies and prevents energy from flowing smoothly. Check out the drawing of the man who bears a striking resemblance to Moses, known as Old Man Water by Da Vinci. Da Vinci was mesmerized by the swirling motion of water, a mystery that still intrigues the world's greatest scientists. He believed that the three basic numbers, 3, 6 and 9, are the essence of the nine core creative frequencies that shape the universe. Yes, these three numbers alone are considered to be the core elements of all things. According to the Bible, there was a creator in the beginning. This is the main concept we're examining, so let's delve into the realm of 3, 6 and 9. Set aside all of your knowledge of conventional math for a moment. We're going to get into something simpler. Let's discuss the Renaissance men, those bright minds who achieved greatness in both science and the arts. Leonardo da Vinci, the epitome of the Renaissance man, was a science and art expert. Not everyone likes math, but don't worry, we're going to set complex math aside and concentrate on something more simple, God's math. God's word was like a sound wave as it entered the quantum field. These vibrations are the creative energy that our loving creator bestowed upon us. It's similar to a cosmic agreement with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and the entire crew. A divine compact that assures us of the creator's support. 
how can prayer help us connect with this positive energy? Well, the ancient philosophers Aristotle and Plato believed that mathematics ruled the universe. They argued that mathematics held the key to understanding the universe. This includes everything from arithmetic and geometry to astronomy, music and even language. Believe it or not, English is like a super simplified technical language. Every letter has a number, acting as a kind of code. Da Vinci famously remarked, there is no certainty in science where one of the mathematical sciences cannot be applied or which are not in relation to these mathematics. Following your curiosity leads to self-discovery, talent discovery and creative fulfillment. Dr. Palio found a relationship between numbers and letters in 1996. A is 1, B is 2 and so on, like a universal code. Now consider terms like trust and faith in God. They all sum up to 8, which is comparable to the sign of infinity. The Bible teaches that the Creator multiplies rather than adds, which increases the force of your divine inspiration. This implies that you'll experience exponential progress in your spiritual advancement. Things get quite interesting when you start multiplying by 8. For instance, 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 8 equals 16, and the sum of those digits is 7. 3 times 8 equals 24. Add those digits to get 6. Have you noticed a pattern? The countdown is in progress. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The intriguing thing about the sequence is that it reverses the English alphabet. Why were languages such as Sanskrit, Hebrew, Babylonian and early Aramaic regarded as sacred? It was believed that conversing in these languages instantly established a spiritual connection. Z plus A equals 9, Y plus B equals 9, X plus C equals 9, and so on, if you add the reversed English alphabet to the standard one. All of this adds up to 9. This is not a random cosmic occurrence, rather it's a purposeful design. What's the significance of the 528 hertz frequency love, and how does it relate to sacred geometry and cosmology in general? This frequency is similar to a universal key. It was Rodin and other physicists who initially mapped out this system. He began with basic arrays and worked his way up to include frequencies like 396, 417, 528 and 639 that make up the soundtrack of the universe. The cosmic symphony connects all things with these frequencies repeating in matrix form. Using this simple mathematics, Da Vinci constructed the universe's toroidal structure which is similar to the blueprint of reality. When discussing polarity, metaphysical physicist Nassim Haramein asserts that what goes up must come down and that positives require negatives. However, Nassim claims that it's a double toroid rather than just one. Leading Russian space-time physicist Mueller provides more details. He makes a simple analogy between the gravitational wave that is constantly present in the universe and DNA. The tiniest details of DNA reflect the vast cosmic scale. It's incredible, isn't it? Mueller defines nodes as unique locations in the cosmos where reality first manifests. He pinpoints six crucial points where reality gathers instead of scattering. Why is this relevant? It's similar to discovering the secrets of the cosmos. Understanding this shifts your perspective from one of scarcity to one of abundance. It aligns with the principle of karma. What goes around, comes around. Your DNA twists and swirls, much like the universe does. Your DNA strands include a subtle version of Marco Rodin's infinity design. This design acts as an antenna to connect you to the creator, but this relationship extends on a specific kind of structured water that your DNA needs. Understanding the function of structured water is essential to preserving a close relationship with the Creator. We can affect our environment by resonating with particular frequencies, such as musicians use sound to create music. Creation stories and ancient faiths echo this principle. In Hinduism, the origin of creation is believed to be the primal syllable Om. While Christians depict God creating the universe by his word, 
Ancient Egyptians believed the universe came into being through sacred chants. These tales demonstrate a universal understanding of how sound may alter reality. Consider this. Much like our faces and fingerprints, every sound has a distinct shape and form. Everything has a unique signature in the universe. When God said, let there be light, it was not just words. It was sound that created light. Skeptical? Try this fun experiment. Attach an LED light to a speaker and see how sound can create light. Royal Raymond Reif investigated the possibility of using sound to cure illnesses. Some even claim to be in control of hurricanes and move objects with sound. It may sound like science fiction, but you never know what's possible with sound. Now, let's turn our attention to the realm of magnetic fields. Did you know that everything in our environment, including unexpected materials like water, aluminium, graphite and glass, possesses some kind of magnetism? For instance, magnets can attract even oxygen and aluminium is a particular type of magnet known as paramagnet. Certain substances are also paramagnetic such as gadolinium oxide and cupric sulfate, a form of salt. It's true that a magnet can pull up cupric sulfate. An electron is not merely a tiny particle. Upon closer inspection, you'll find that it's a resonating vibration. This demonstrates how false information can cloud our perception of reality. In a 1928 interview, Nikola Tesla shared his daring theory about electrons, which shocked science. He thought they were essentially distinct from the widely accepted atomic hypothesis. Tesla disagreed with a scientific explanation for the existence of the electron. This goes against what we've always believed and exposes a bias in science and education that may not be in line with reality. Scientists such as Einstein and Tesla have had doubts about the conventional atomic model for centuries. Scientists, inventors and researchers have highly debated the existence of electrons and the atomic structure that has been taught to us for centuries. Are you aware that each stone circle, like the exact location, represents a different frequency of sound coming from the Earth? Some of these ancient structures resembled strong magnetrons, and others were like musical scores engraved into the landscape. One of the most potent of these stone circles is Adam's calendar, which gathers energy from millions of other stone circles. It's still in operation today and has a unique toroidal effect. It works like a massive circuit board that is energized by the sound of the earth and turned on by the movement of the sun. Our forefathers used stone as a tool to carry information and energy. In fact, there's a connection between your vibrational frequency and your mental well-being. With the help of Nikola Tesla's discovery, it was possible to attain a more harmonious and balanced mental state by increasing these vibrations. To solve the mysteries of the universe, it's necessary to investigate beyond the physical world. If science continues to explore non-physical energy, in the coming 10 years, we may learn more about the creation of the universe. This could surpass the sum of all the discoveries in the previous centuries. If you made it all the way to this part in the video, you may qualify for our membership, so you might want to listen closely. It's an exclusive area where we release videos that we cannot show to the general public yet. You'll get to see everything first and learn about the truths that we cannot reveal anywhere else. The community is growing incredibly fast, so it's best to get in early before we close the access. If you want to learn more, hit the link in the description, in the pinned comment or on our homepage.